Hello friends and fellow gamers, we've got our man bun in today and we're going to be checking out this week's Black Friday event. Oof. Now one thing about Black Friday we know is people get excited because it's an opportunity to buy some really cheap, good for value things in Idle Heroes. But does that mean it's good for free to play players? Well, let's find out in today's video. But before we do, I'd love to give a shout out to two new individuals who have decided to back me on Patreon this week. We have T-Bone and Cody Logsdon. Thank you so much to you two for your support to keep the lights on here and support me with the content that I make. So thank you so much, guys, for your kind generosity. And if you want to be like them and back me on Patreon, you can find a link up there in the top corner of the screen or down below in the description. Anyway, enough about Patreon, guys. Let's go check out this week's event. One major disappointment which we've known about Black Friday for some time is that unlike the past Black Fridays we've had, it's not going to be a Profit Orb event. This week is a Heroic Summons event, and that means we have a new hero as well, Transcendence Queen, or Scarlet Queen, Halazadamon? I can't remember. We'll go check her out in a second. But there's also a new Transcendence hero. Queen has now become Transcended, which means you can get your hands on a Void version of Queen, who looks really, really strong. But ignoring all that for a moment, this is a Heroic Summons event, so we get three Heroic Summon scrolls every day for logging in, which amounts to 21 free Heroic Summons across the week, which I have to say isn't bad. Looking at the cool events, because it is Heroic Summons, it should come as no surprise that the Palace of Eternity and Palace of Crystal are here. Now, the Palace of Eternity allows you to swap in any of the following heroes to get your hands on the new Abyss Warrior called Morax. You can swap Rogan, Ignis, Tix, Flora, or Inosuke, and most really the hero you want to swap here is Flora. However, I would keep your copies of heroes that can be swapped around because Flora will be able to be swapped for the new heroes coming out at Christmas and Chinese New Year, who are going to be light and dark heroes and therefore much better than Morax. So I definitely save your palace crystals and your flora copies and swap them for a better hero coming out of Christmas and Chinese New Year. The way to get the palace crystals is by doing 400 summons, and every 400 summons will get you 5 eternal crystals. You can unlock these lower packages below, which will give you an additional 15 for each 400, by purchasing the value packages here. If you purchase the $99 package at the top, you'll get all the scene rewards here, so you're getting gems, you're getting scrolls, and you'll also get this palace key, which will unlock the lower level of one of these palace of crystals, so you need to buy all 5 to unlock all of them. Now you also get an additional 4,888 gems, which is nice because it's Black Friday, and you also get these black diamond points, which is the currency for this year's Black Friday event. So if you're curious how to get rewards in the Black Friday event, this is how you do it. You spend money. The only way you can get these black diamond points is by purchasing one of the two higher packages, and you can purchase each one to a maximum of five times. So in theory, you could go purchase a load of these and have a jolly old good time spending all your money. For some people, that's not a bad idea. For other people, cash is not something you just want to be throwing at this game. Especially not as, as much as like, what's this going to come to? Six, seven, eight hundred bucks? That's a lot of money. But forgetting that for a moment, every time you manage to get a copy of Morax this event, you're going to get your hands on some three-star armor. It's not great, and in fact, it's not even okay. It's just pretty crappy and mostly used as food to fuse up, but hey, at least it's something. The summon prizes are pretty good, as usual. You're getting your profit orbs and your heroic scrolls for doing 50, 100, and 200 summons. For 300, you're going to be getting five profit orbs, five soul symbols, and also 10 of the black diamond points. Now, bear in mind, you're getting black diamond points for every level, so you get 50 for every pass. It's 5, 10, then 20, 30, 40, 50. Additionally, for getting to 200, you're going to get a copy of Queen, who's the new Transcendence hero. For getting to 400, you get a copy of Morax, the brand new hero out this week. And also, for 500, you're going to get 15 Glorious Relics. And you can repeat this three additional times to do a total of 2,000 Heroic Summon Scrolls. However, most people are only going to spend 100 scrolls at most because people are saving up for Christmas and Chinese New Year, which will give light and dark heroes who are traditionally the better heroes in the game, so you probably want to be holding back. This event could be good. I mean, you're getting a lot of value with these Black Diamond points, potentially. We haven't even looked at the Black Friday stuff, so I could be lying, so stay tuned. But... Morax, from what we've seen, is more of a PvE hero. 
His passive skills give him health, attack, crit, precision, which is nice because that's going to increase his damage as well as increase his chance to stop an opponent from blocking, and as well the effect of being healed, which means healing him up is going to be something quite easy. So potentially he has a lot of chances to be a very tanky hero. The next passive, Armament, means each of his basic attacks will grant himself with two layers of extra ammo, an effect that will come into play in his active skill, and he also gets an 100% chance to remove one debuff, so that could remove uh, damage over time, or attack debuffs, or something else that's debilitating him. Do bear in mind it can also remove marks, so potentially he could use his basic attack to take himself to 100 energy and remove a carry mark before it nicks his energy, which is a nice little interaction to consider. In addition, he can also remove control effects, however the likelihood he gets a basic attack whilst CC'd is very slim, only really silences the control effect that's going to come out with this one. His final passive is Battle Frenzy. As he loses HP, his all damage dealt and all damage reduction is going to be increased. His skill here doesn't specifically say by how much, so DH Games, if you're watching, that statistic would be fantastic, and it can go to a maximum of 120% bonus to damage dealt and 40% to damage reduction. So the big thing that's jumping out here is giving this guy a golden crown, because you could potentially make him take hardly any damage. And as the rounds go on and the golden crown, if it's upgraded, gets weaker and weaker and weaker with his damage reduction buff, he will get more and more damage reduction from taking hits, so you can make him a really, really tanky hero. His active skill is where things get interesting. It deals 600% of attack damage to one random backline enemy and burns them for an additional 600% for two rounds. Now I know what you're thinking, burn gets removed by purify so really it's only going to look at 1200% of attack because a burn will trigger immediately when it's activated and then additionally at the end of rounds and your brain's also saying hmm this is one random backline hero. That doesn't seem very good. However, additionally for the next two rounds the affected enemy takes 30% more burning damage so that's another debuff that purify will have to deal with and also after that he'll remove all extra ammo layers and for each extra ammo layer he has he will use his attack one more time against a random backline enemy additionally when the fight starts he has two layers of extra ammo already built in, which marries up with the fact you already start with half your energy, so it's as if he's already done a basic attack, because his basic attack is what's giving him two extra ammos. So basically you can expect when his active skill goes off he hits five times with 600% of attack and an additional 600% damage over time. So this seems actually all right, and in fact amazing in PvE, because he's going to be shooting at enemies on the back line really, really hard, and he also burns them, which means he can synergize with Phoenix. This is really big. I think this guy replaces Sigmund, because Sigmund has always been a hero that burns and then removes armor. With now Drake's a thing, you don't really need Sigmund's armor reduction. So Morax is more of the burn hero that you really want to optimize if you're thinking of running a burn hero in your PvE team. Sure, it's not going to be good as Ithaqua and Dalacium, but actually on his own, he can be a really, really good hero and synergize very well with Phoenix. So I like Morax as a solo E5 that you can use in PvE game modes, but he isn't jumping out to me as a hero that's going to be phenomenal in PvP. The main reason for that is his speed stat is shockingly low, 1172. That isn't great, and we already have loads of heroes that are much quicker that can do many great things that hit harder and also more enemies. I'm looking at Russell, I'm looking at Garuda. These heroes hit so hard that it kind of makes it difficult to justify running Morax in a PvP team. Additionally, a lot of teams are focused around running Rogan and getting a lot of speed out. You've got disruption heroes like Carry and Sherlock. Unfortunately, I don't think Morax is quick enough to stop a Carry from stealing his energy. Potentially removing a mark with his basic attack is good, and the fact he has all this precision does mean he's going to deal a lot of damage, and the tankiness built in could mean he survives, but I think in the long run, Morax isn't going to be an endgame PvP hero. He's very, very focused on dealing a lot of damage to bosses and doing very well in Seal Land. So I think for those that want to build Morax, that's going to be his use. So I don't really think for most people it's worth dropping your scrolls to go for Morax. Maybe if you were after just a little bit of these Black Diamond points for Black Friday, that's the thing to do. But in addition, I don't think there's really much going for this guy on a, um, let's say, a PvP point of view. But a lot of you aren't focused on PvP and Morax could be a fun hero for you to collect 
in the long run. It might be more worth going for him when he's available in Profit Orbs if you just want to do that little bit more damage to Seal Land or maybe Broken Spaces. But anyway, let's see what else we've got in store for us. We have the Hero Exchange event where they're selling Rogan and Ignis for 6,000 Altar Stones. That's really nice. In fact, I'm going to pick them both up because I can on my account because I got a lot of these things, so that's totally cool. And uh, yeah, I might build them both in the future. I definitely would love a second Rogan on this account, so that's very nice. This is my main account, by the way, not the free-to-play. And finally, guys, let's go look at the Black Friday Carnival. So, choo-choo, guys. Lots of great value stuff for you to pick up if you're a VIP player. Now, that's the big caveat here. Everything you see listed is unlocked for each additional VIP level you have. Anyone can go ahead and get 10 Heroic Summon Scrolls for 500, which is really good considering this is 1,250 gems worth of Heroic Scrolls. That's an absolute bargain. And as you keep going, there's a lot of additional great deals coming through here. Like, maybe you don't need the Orange Artifact Fragments for 1,500, but look at that. You're getting 10 Profit Orbs for 1,500 gems. That's nuts. You're getting five heroic summon scrolls and a elite five star dark shard for 2000 gems that's bonkers you're getting 10 heroic summons and a five star light shard for 2000 gems it's just bonkers you're getting so much value here six star puppet 2500 choose your own five star chest and 25 relics again 2500 gems a light and dark selection chest with five heroic summon scrolls and 25 glorious relics 3000 gems this is crazy but you're probably thinking whoa mk your gem counts so low i know but maybe there's a way to fix that that i'm going to show you in a second if you're inclined to spending and additionally guys if you get to vip 9 i think this one is this is going to get you 30 glorious relics it's getting you a nine star forest puppet and a heroic summon scroll so this is a great reward for people who are established spenders people who have already spent a lot of money over the years or months that they've been playing this game we're getting something great for our cash, which is just, look at this. It's just really good value stuff that's available for the cheap. This is what they do every year for Black Friday. It's the one event of the year we really get some insanely cheap things for our gems. You cannot complain at this. Additionally, if you're VIP 10 or 11, you're going to unlock Cause of Transcendence, which are insanely cheap for what they are. You're also getting relics with that. If you get to VIP 12, you're getting a 10-star Fortress puppet available for sale, which is bonkers. That's just 10-star food. There you go and Glorious Relics. And then if you get to VIP 13, and I know this is crazy territory, I know most people watching aren't VIP 13, but you're gonna get half a million Stellar Shards, which is enough to take a hero very far in the Void upgrades. That's pretty exciting. And you also get 40 Glorious Relics. So what is all this about? Why are you doing this? Well, it's just DH Games trying to say thank you to their established spenders. It's actually a really, really nice thing, unless you're free to play. From a free to play standpoint, there is nothing to enjoy here. And you might be kicking and scuffing your heels going, oh, that's not fair. But remember, Black Friday is a holiday about spending money and getting a lot for your cash. So for people that don't spend on this game, it kind of makes sense that you don't get anything. And I know it sucks, You are, but, you, but then again, guys, remember, you are getting, you know, 10 heroic summon scrolls for 500 gems. That's, that's good. Just add it to your pot and just be happy. But for more established spenders, this is insane. You're getting a lot of cool stuff. So, what was that thing I was talking about that's going to get you gems? Well, it's the Black Friday card. This is nuts. For seven days, you're going to get 1,888 gems. You're going to get 10 glorious relics and also some amount of gold and some amount of spirit depending on your level. Every day for seven days. That's a lot of gems across seven days and 70 glorious relics. Combine those glorious relics with the glorious relics you can already purchase here. Guys... Next week is going to be the Glorious Boost, where you can buy top-end artifacts for 400 Glorious Relics. If there was any time to get a bunch of Glorious Relics, it was thi it's, th it's this week, right? So that you can cash in and get some really nice artifacts next week. This is very, very good. And for those of you that can't buy this, fear not. Tonight, a little later on today, on twitch.tv forward slash mkxjump, we're going to be giving away three of these to lucky individuals that tune in on Twitch. And one of them will only be available for people who are free-to-play players. I mean, VIP zero. And you're not allowed to have any alt accounts on different servers that have spent. You have to be completely clean VIP. This is a big, big boon we want to give to people that have never spent on the game before so that you can enjoy some progress and just enjoy this event. Because there isn't much for free-to-play players this event. So if you want to take part in that giveaway, go subscribe or just follow my Twitch channel down below in the description. 
twitch.tv forward slash mkxjump at 10 p.m. GMT. That's 5 p.m. Eastern time for those in America. You can tune in to my Twitch channel and that's when the stream will begin where we'll be doing the giveaway. One of these will be only available for free-to-play players. The other two will be available for everyone to enter. So that gives free-to-play players three opportunities to win one of these. So you need to join my Twitch channel and the rest of the ways to win the giveaway will be revealed there. Rules for the giveaway, though, is you have to be Android. Unfortunately, I can't buy things for iOS players, which kind of sucks. So unfortunately, iOS players won't be able to do anything. But Android players do tune in at twitch.tv forward slash mkxjump, 10 p.m. tonight. And finally, guys, the Black Friday Shopping Carnival. This is a bit of a slap in the face, I'll be honest. This is the bit of the event I don't like. If you haven't earned the Black Friday card avatar frame, and you might be thinking, what's that? It's this really expensive avatar frame that was $680 available for sale last time we had a Black Friday event. It was the first ever exclusive banner for accounts, which basically meant that the people that purchased it were just going to be ahead of everybody else. It's just stupid. I hated it. A lot of the YouTubers that were around at the time ranted about it and thought it was stupid. Yet, they haven't learned. It's back. However, if you haven't got the previous one, you need to get to the very, very bottom of this thing. And that's going to be 500 of these tickets. Remembering, guys, the most you can get with 2,000 heroic summon scrolls is 200. So you need to buy 300 of them. Yikes. To get 300 of them, you need to buy all of these packages. All of them. That's stupid. It's extortionate. It's ridiculous. And I think it's a big insult, or maybe a big come and get it, to a lot of people that spend a lot of money. I just I just find it I find it stupid. I find it ridiculous. I think it's way too overpriced. DH games, what are you doing? Why why I just Ugh, I hate it when they make things that are like just ridiculously paywalled. I guess it's just a way to incentivize people to spend. I mean, look at the rewards you're actually getting. It's not too bad. Like, quarter of a million stellar shards is very good. You're getting a lot of these glorious relics. You're getting 10 star puppets. You're getting a choose-your-own artifact chest. In fact, I think you're getting two. Yeah, two choose-your-own artifact chests. So you're actually getting a lot of value for this when it comes to spending, so it's not the worst. But it is a lot of money. Like, yikes. Like, Black Friday, Light and Dark, 5 stars Hero Selection, just like, blah, 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 blah. it's just horrible. And the only way to get to 500 is to do 2,000 Heroic Summon Scrolls now and spend, like, 800 bucks. It's just crazy. Unless you've already gone and got the frame from last year, then it's actually much more doable. It's only 220. So I guess all you have to do there is spend 2,000 Heroic Summon Scrolls again, which I do not recommend, and then spend maybe, like, 60, 70 bucks to get... An additional 20. So, yippee, I think... No, it's, it's just... Ugh, I, I just think it's a bit dodge that they're like, oh, you got the one from last year? Well, spend more money and you can get it this year too. <laughs> because in reality, most people don't want to spend their Heroic Summon Scrolls this event. So, they're not going to be too excited about doing that. Maybe it's something for people to enjoy, but I think this whole thing is just a little bit of a... Yikes, right? I, I don't want to go spending Heroic Summon Scrolls. I don't want to be racking up these things. So, in fact, I just think it's a hard pass. I think most people are going to do, what, like, 100 summons? Like, that's what I'm doing. 100 summons, let's get these 10 scrolls for free. That's cool. That's fine by me. An additional 10 scrolls for doing 100 summons is actually great value. So, from a free-to-play player standpoint, do 100 summons, get your 10 scrolls back, and forget there's anything else on this list. For spenders, I'm sure you can work out what you're prepared and not prepared to go push yourselves to get. And I just want to say, in my mind, dropping 2,000 Heroic Summon Scrolls to get all of this stuff and then spending 800 bucks as well does seem a little bit overboard. But if you do plan on doing that, I will say it doesn't actually work out as pretty good value because you are spending 500 bucks, which means you're going to pick up all these palace keys. You're getting all this additional stuff down here. That's going to give you a load of scrolls. So you might as well cash them in, get this to 2,000, get a bunch of palace crystals, and then just swap. Just swap for a better hero in the future that's coming out at Christmas or Chinese New Year. So actually, this is where the Palace of Crystal is really going to shine, because it means you can preemptively spend to then get the Good Heroes of Christmas, or maybe even two copies of the Good Heroes of Christmas as soon as they're out. 
Again, if you don't like the Hero of Christmas, there's always the one at Chinese New Year, because that one will probably be stronger. If you look traditionally, the heroes that come out at Chinese New Year, we had Faithblade, who broke the meta, we had Ada, who broke the meta, and then we had Carrie, who, believe it or not, guys, broke the meta. So there's a tradition that the Chinese New Year hero is super strong. However, we'll wait till Christmas. That's a month away. If you want to catch that, guys, hit subscribe, because we're going to be doing these every Friday in preparation, always doing my event reviews, always letting you know what's coming. And yeah, this is this seems okay, this event, if you were going to spend a lot, and it seems okay if you were going to spend a little. If you're already established VIP player, you've got all that gems you can enjoy. And actually, when it comes to sheer value, right? Sheer value. Maybe spending a ton of cash and doing 2,000 heroic summons isn't terrible. But. Now, this is the big but. There's something in the back of our minds. A little thing that's going to be popping up. Something that we should probably address. It's a new Transcendence hero. Scarlet Queen. And she is insanely strong. I mean it, she is stupid. Why? Because of this final passive, Royal Guard. When the battle starts, she grants all allies except herself Queen's Guard. And she also increases all the damage they deal by 15%. So you might be thinking, oh, that's nice, a 15% damage buff. That doesn't sound too busted. Queen's Guard means if she's attacked by an active skill or a basic attack, all of the people with Queen's Guard, which means every other hero on your team, will attack the person who hit her, dealing damage equal to 800% of their attack. So she basically turns every single hero into Garuda, making them smack out for 800% of attack. That's stupid. That means you can just maximize running support heroes with Halora, so you can just throw a, a, a Livia there, Amon Ra, just do everything you can to keep her alive, because those heroes are just going to be doing 800% of their attack whenever she gets smacked. So you don't need big damage dealers, because Halora's just there like, oh, you hit me, bang, 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 bang. Oh, you hit me, bang, 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 bang. It's dumb, not to mention she's reducing your opponent's crit with her active skill, and her active skill hits for 12 180% of damage and then has up damage over time for an additional 1280%. That's a lot of damage. It's insane. It's bonkersly massive. And she also then debuffs them. Like, this hero is off the charts powerful. And just look at that speed snap 1292. Dude, this is ridiculous. Like, Halora is easily top 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 tier it doesn't even take a bit of thinking so maybe for those that wanted to go and spend a ton of cash on black friday you've got to bear in mind you're also going to need your transcendence cores throwing them in the compass of transcendent to just go and pick up this hero the nice thing is you can also choose between sword blast shire and halora so oh look you can pick but my word is she an insane hero that's gonna absolutely flip the meta upside down it was the same with sword flash it's no difference with Laura. the game's gonna get to a point where there's six overpowered transcendence heroes and that's just gonna be the teams people run it's gonna be stupid dh games please please just don't do that like just a hard limit of one transcendence hero a team is what this game should be to be balanced. Like Mega Heroes in Pokemon, like Z-Moves in Pokemon, you should only really, from a game balance perspective and a game design to keep this safe and future-proofed so you don't burn your game to the ground, you want to have only one of these heroes allowed on a team. Not, you can only assign one of the same name so you can't run two Scarlet Queens. I mean one Transcendence hero, that's it. Only one hero that is in the Transcendence faction. Whether they do that, I don't know, but expect guys to see Sword Flashes and Scarlet Queens together, and expect that to be the top of your PvP leaderboard. It's insane, and I find it a little bit daunting, but hey, that's just the way the meta's going to be going, and there's not much we can do about it. So overall, this event doesn't really offer much for free-to-play players, except for maybe 20 extra heroic summon scrolls than you normally would get, which, to be honest, for a free-to-play player, isn't bad. To spend 500 gems and get 10 scrolls, and then get an additional 10 for doing the 100 summons that you would normally do anyway with heroic summons is pretty fine. I actually like that for a free-to-play player. I wouldn't overthink all the other stuff there. That's just spend a territory. They're like... To be upset that that stuff's available is the same to walk into a shop and then sulk that you can't buy everything in the shop. Just go in for what you came for, which is Heroic Scrolls, and just be happy. 
for people that have spent we're getting rewarded because we've got established vips which means we've got loads of bargains we can get for gems and yeah guys if you were upset that you don't have that stuff unlocked maybe join us at twitch.tv forward slash mkx jump to go and enjoy the potential chance of getting yourselves a black friday card courtesy of me for free free to play players even get their own exclusive opportunity which means one lucky individual who has never spent anything on the game will get something bought for them which i'm very much looking forward to so again join us tonight which is friday at 10 p.m gmt or 5 p.m eastern over at twitch.tv forward slash mkx jump to join that giveaway if you want to check out some more of my content here, guys, why don't you find some here on the side of the screen? And let me know what your thoughts are for this Black Friday. One big disappointment for me is that we can't really spend anything because Heroic Summon Scrolls is something we want to save and there's no chance to drop profit orbs because for the first time ever, it's a Heroic Summons event, which is a bit annoying. But maybe things could change in the future. Maybe next week's profit orb event might not actually be that bad and it's everything we've been looking forward to. But from a spending standpoint, this event is actually fantastic. So... There's a lot of stuff for a lot of different people, and just because you're not one of the particular people that can benefit from an area, I think you should probably still be content with this. And free-to-play players, just enjoy what we get, and let's just carry on. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you have a great week, and happy idling.